questions because you're from a Caribbean background. And mm -hmm. I just want to hear your opinion. I just want to hear a response on this. When you have your kids, would you take, would you allow them to be on social media while they're young? Or would you, would you be like the typical African Caribbean parents and be like, no social media? <laughs> yeah, that's a hard one because, you know, I always say that, you know, times are changing and I don't yeah. want to yeah. have my kids behind because I can't get with the times, you know what I'm yeah. saying? So yeah. it's like, I would hope that in the future, there, when I do have kids, there are some kind of boundaries in place by then. Mm -hmm. But if not, I would still allow them, but I would just be very involved in what I've they're doing and try to monitor it as much as possible because I don't want like you there's a lot of good things on social media you True. know even yeah. for kids mm -hmm. and I don't want mine to miss out or you know be the oddball and have no clue how to work this that, and third because I can't get with the times you know mm -hmm. but I can say that I probably would let them get on but I would just monitor it very heavily the best that I can you know True true um this this reminded me of a documentary that was released recently on the social media about how yeah. social media does things to people and um, a lot of people are like social media is horrible it's this the company wants you to be addicted they want you to they want you to to be um to be hooked on on their products and um it made me think and, and this is what you just said is everything just kind of played out in my head that the truth is every company that has a business model the business model of every company is one to make profits and mm -hmm. two making profits mm -hmm. and in order to do that they need to get you to be addicted to their products mm -hmm. so if a company is selling a cell phone they want you to be addicted to the cell phone and they will do everything to get you addicted to it if a company like Facebook, you know, if they are creating their product, they want you to keep coming back on Facebook. Same as, same with Instagram, same with every other social media company. And do we blame this company? Or do we, we as parents and guardians and, you know, people, should we hold ourselves accountable to certain boundaries? for just like you said you know for those kids should we said should, should we be the one to set those boundaries or should we tell the companies no stop crazy on facebook stop stop making stop getting kids addicted to social media mm -hmm. or do you think it's the responsibility of the parent to be like okay you can go on facebook for 45 minutes and then it's bedtime who's what do you think should shoulder more of the responsibility in this case well, I can say that I think I think it's more of a self accountability thing. Um, you know, I don't think that there has ever been a time where we could ever count on, you know, capitalism to look out for their consumers. You know, mm -hmm. capitalism is capitalism. They're gonna do exactly. They're gonna do whatever it takes to get profit. And I feel like if you realize that you will be okay in the long run because you it, it's something you could just remind yourself of every time you feel yourself getting caught up like you know i know this is just the capital capitalism trap i guess you know mm -hmm. to get me hooked addicted and to start buying stuff online mm -hmm. but so that's why i feel like if you just have the mindset and know what it is from the jump it'll be harder to you know catch you as a consumer you know, yeah. so because yeah. like I said, exactly. So ca capitalism is going to look out for capitalism. They're going to try and sell you whatever they're trying to sell. They're they're not they're not concerned with your health, your so mental health. Like, like you know, exactly. You have to be concerned with your mental health. You know, you have to be concerned with your child's mental health. Like it, mm -hmm. it, it definitely like they say, like it starts with you. Mm -hmm. Exactly. You have to be accountable for, you know, what you read, what you watch, what you take in, you know, so. That's a very powerful okay. and insightful as well, because, um, yeah, it, it, even though it's hard, but I think parents, for example, should realize that 
your kids can easily get addicted to this thing because um, social media is like it's like it's like a, it's like a drug, like cigarettes, mm-hmm. but one without a one inside. Because every pack exactly. of cigarettes you grab has a one inside, but social media doesn't have a one inside, and it's high exactly. Mm-hmm. And that is why you see a lot of kids go into it. I've even heard cases of you know young people doing things to themselves to the point of even committing suicide because of just looking at other people's lifestyle, comparing mm-hmm. their lifestyle. And they do so many things. So I think it's important for parents and guidance to just sort of um, create these healthy boundaries. You know, I, I, agree. Want to, I don't want to use the word impose because I'm African. So I'm going to be <laughs> a bit American now. <laughs> I create these healthy boundaries. <laughs> If I was going to say the African way, I would like enforce the health. <laughs> you must do it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, let me let it. <laughs> it's a little American here. <laughs> but yeah, um, I think that's um, yeah. I think we we headed in a very good in a very good place. Um, like you said, knowledge is power. Um, it's about doing the research, knowing the truth of, about capitalism that they won't look out for you. And you got to look exactly. after yourself. When mm-hmm. you know the truth, then you, at least, like they say, the truth will set you free. You know, the, exactly. truth, will, the, truth, will, the truth will equip you. You could better raise your children. You could better help your friends. You could better educate your family and let them know. I think it's just so important to tell the truth. That's where the ethics thing comes in because you, you even the companies should say, Things like, just like the cigarette companies say, smokers are liable to die. They need to start having it on maybe social media as well. Yeah. This social media is highly addictive. And you need to be able to control yourself at some point. But a lot of people, a lot of these companies really don't care about that thing. I think that's where the government could come in. Exactly. But there is stuff going on right now with like, you know, Mark Zuckerberg and the government and, you know, trying to actually fix kind of the, these kind of problems you know but again there's like a 50 50 thing some people think that you know it's these companies some people think that it's self-accountability so it's just like there needs to be some kind of common ground where you know both parties could come together and find a solution 